Hey everyone, this is Yen from Devolutions with this week's Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. This video is the third video in the series on VPNs, which is pretty much uh, just a summary of what we've looked at so far, some of the capabilities that are available with VPNs, and how to get everything running smoothly so that uh, Remote Desktop Manager really becomes the most adaptable and uh, functional tool in your tool arsenal. All right, so if you look at my screen here, just to recap, that a couple weeks ago we set up a VPN entry where we put in our information, our username and password, as well as our properties, enabled 2FA on it so that I would be prompted for a, a six digit code when I was running my VPN. Then we had a bunch of entries here that require a VPN. And all of these are nicely nested under this little folder and they all inherit their VPN properties from the folder above. Then this folder above here, it actually has all the VPN entry information already set. So that folder is the one that points to my VPN. So any of these entries, whenever they're trying to be used, uh, whenever they're accessing the VPN, will grab whatever properties this parent folder assigns to them. We looked at the connection options as well, what happens when you close the VPN, but we encountered a problem. The problem we encountered was simply that when you open up multiple sessions, if you close that alpha session, that first session that started it all, okay, um, then the entire VPN would close. Well, that's a problem, right? Because what if you're working on hundreds of sessions and then you accidentally close it uh, and then now you lose access to the VPN and now you're gonna open it all over again and you get a bunch of, you get 35 different uh, 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 prompt windows saying, cannot connect. Uh, how do we mitigate this? Well, the answer is actually quite simple and I. I could have shown it last week, but I wanted to give you uh, just a little bit to chew on so that you could set things up yourself. So what you wanna do here is you're gonna create what's called a VPN group. And a VPN group groups all the entries in your entire vault, no matter where they are, and it groups them together so that it'll only close the VPN once the last of those items or entries in that group closes. But let's just create one. And let's create a very, very fancy name called VPN. Uh, VPN group. I'm going to click OK. So let's go ahead and test this feature out. So I've got my handy dandy uh, app here. I'm going to go ahead and open. I got my little delay window popped up. I've got my code that I'm going to put in. I've just authenticated. I could see that Windows said it's connected. No problem. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window because I don't need it anymore. And now I'm going to open up this Telemark DC one. Well, let's for fun open up another one. Let's open up this uh, this other server. Let's get this Telnet going. Uh, let's just get this SSH shell, uh, Windjammer. We'll open all these sessions up, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, DC1 and this SQL and this uh, Telnet and this SSH. And notice this week, it did not prompt me or kick me off because it's part of a VPN group. So all these VPN uh, these entries that are accessing the VPN are all waiting on standby for the last one to close. So when I close him, now my VPN has automatically closed because that's what I set uh, in my close properties above. Now, what I can do is uh, take it up to another level. And actually, I created a playlist here where I would launch all of these sessions uh, right off the bat. And I'm going to click open and my delay window is going to pop up. I'm going to put it in the password here. And then I can see here that my VPN opened correctly and I'm going to click close and then I'm going to let it do its thing. It's going to open up all of my uh, windows here and I'm not doing anything really. I'm just going and letting it do its thing and it's pinging the session. It's checking to see if the VPN's open and I got all of my sessions open, uh, all ready to go. My VPN's open and I'm happy. Now I can go through and if I want to close them as well, uh, once again, it's only going to close it once I close that very, very last session. So I'm gonna go here, close this one, and then we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna close Windjammer 21. And this time I actually enabled the uh, prompt. Okay, it says, do you want to close the VPN connection and I could say yes or no. So if I say yes, there you go. Now my VPN is closed. They're all grouped together. It was a pretty simple process to run. 
So I hope you can see the versatility once again with Remote Desktop Manager and VPNs. We give you a whole bunch of different options that you can customize yourself, but that's because we know that every single IT department runs differently. But I hope this gives you a great overview of how VPNs can help you really maximize that uh, productivity and but maintaining that security at the same time, because that's the whole goal, right? Notice, didn't see any credentials. Uh, the only thing I had to type in was my 2FA code. So very, very simple to use, but very powerful. Uh, I'm actually gonna use this for myself personally um, when I'm running stuff through my work VPN, but I hope that you use it as well. If you like these types of videos, just uh, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, that helps us know that you're enjoying this type of content and also helps me know uh, what kind of content you like so we can keep coming up with ideas. So thanks a lot and have a great rest of your week and thanks for watching.